Hey everybody, this is Charles Kelly with The Lancia Life. I'm back uh, and I have a real special treat for you all. So I wrote and published a book last year and at the same time I started my blog. And uh, so it's about the time of my anniversary. For my anniversary, some of you recognize this. This is the CAO Amazon base. Um, look at this. It's got the four bands of tightly wrapped tobacco. That's the cigar band. That's the signature. That's how you recognize it. Um, fantastic cigar. Before I light this thing up, I want to talk about it a little bit. So, This cigar, the tobacco inside, which is a Brazilian Braganca, is a tobacco that's grown in along the Amazon Basin. The Amazon Basin is an area uh, along that river uh, in South America that floods uh, and is predominantly under, underwater, uninhabitable, for about two years in a row. But every third year, uh, that tidal basin, the water withdraws back into the river and exposes the land. Now that land, that water is rich in nutrients. You got all kinds of stuff in the Amazon basin. Piranha, alligators, snakes. Uh, I'm sure a couple of ex-drug uh, cartel members, you know, all kinds of stuff in that, that water. Uh, and so that water uh, brings a lot of stuff uh, as it flows along and it settles, you know, solid settle on the bottom. So when the water recedes, what you have is naturally fertile soil. And what they do is they'll go out there in that soil and they'll plant tobacco. Now it's not, you know, really cultivated, so you're not going to see rows and rows of t t tobacco. You're going to see uh, this tobacco grown wherever they can find a spot to put it in, uh, and that's exposed to some sunlight. So they go out there, they grow that tobacco in those plots when they can. Uh, they're harvested and carried by boat, canoe, I don't know, back somewhere along the river to where uh, it uh, gets collected, uh, harvested, of course, aged, and then uh, combined with some other tobacco. So the wrapper, beautiful wrapper, is an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper. The binder is Nicaraguan. And inside the filler, in addition to that Brazilian uh, Raganta, is Dominican and Colombian tobacco. Very unique blend. That's not a blend that you find everywhere. So that's the story and history of the cigar. I'm going to go and cut this baby. I'm going to light it up and I'm going to tell you uh, about it. Best way to light a cigar, by the way. You don't get the sulfur from a match. You don't get the butane from a, a lighter. A lot of smoke. Cocoa up front. Just a hint of spice. A little leather. This one tastes a little different than the uh, last one I had. So one of the things I like about this cigar 
it's a solid medium from beginning to end. Um, and I call this an every body cigar. Every man, every woman can enjoy the cigar. There's enough complexity to satisfy the aficionado, the experienced veteran. It's changing already. Um, it's not too overpowering for the novice. Uh, a beginner could enjoy the cigar, get the complexity has a very smooth retrohale. Uh, and the thing I like most about the cigar is it changes all throughout the cigar. At one point in the one I smoked previously, right about here, I got bourbon. Um, it has some sweetness, coffee, some floral. It's creamy. It gives you like everything in the cigar. It doesn't give you a lot of pepper. It gives you some hint of spice. You get cocoa and coffee and espresso, and it just kind of twirls around and around and around in there. It's a very smoky tobacco, and as I said, it's a very com complex cigar. Um, it's just amazing. Tasty. Mm. Good on the lips. You know, when you look at it, it's not one of those very, what I would call an oily cigar. It's kind of got a nice dark sheen to it. Smells good. Not a lot of cigars smell as good as they taste. You got a nice V cut on that so that that smoke just goes right down the center of my tongue. Um, the flavors don't stay on your tongue. They'll coat it, the, the smoke will coat it, but it won't stay on your tongue. You don't feel like you have to, you know, to get the, uh, uh, get the, uh, get the coating off. Mm -hmm. This cigar is flat out delicious. I didn't think much of CAO cigars for years and years and years um, until they came out with the Flathead um, a little while ago. I uh, smoked the Flathead and it completely changed my opinion on CAO cigars. It was said the Flathead is a phenomenal cigar. This is amazing to me by far the best cigar I've ever smoked from CAO. CAO cigars used to be a cigar that you used to get in a grab bag, you know, with that little Brazilian uh, label, big CAO, but they have really stepped up their game significantly between the flatheads, they're doing a bunch of different flatheads, newer stuff, they're making some lines that are modeled after motorcycles. Um, and this Amazon basin now, because it's only available once every three years, the stories are true, and, and I believe them. Um, I have two that I'm gonna age in my box. I wanna see how they hold up over time. It's a limited quantity cigar, so you gotta scarf these up when you see them. And again, even if you don't wanna smoke them right away, hold them. It's about a 10 to $13 stick. More, I think because of how rare the tobacco is. Um, and so for me, it's worth the price. Um, it's got a very unique flavor profile. getting some hay and a little earthy but again nothing that is too overwhelming now unfortunately I don't have the time to smoke this whole cigar besides we want to see me smoke an entire cigar a little bit of pepper nice even burn Good tight ash, not flaky. I'm glad it didn't shake off on me here while I'm doing that little quick demonstration. 
um, even though it hasn't gone far enough, the dash is white and gray. Just a phenomenal uh, cigar. Um, I'm sure that it's got its detractors. Some people think it might not be worth the price, but again, I think it is because it's rare. And the hardcore guys that like all that Nicaraguan pepper, 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 and spicy, 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 might not, might not favor this profile, think it's worth it for that. But if you want a complex cigar, this is complex. This is about as complex as it gets, and like I said, right down the middle of the medium body zone. So it's a cigar that CAO produced that everybody can love. Everybody can love this cigar. So, I'm not gonna be long on this one because I'm gonna go sit down with the fellas and talk a little trash. But the CAO Amazon Basin, this is a must. Pick them up when you can, hold on to them because when they're gone, they're gone until they can produce them again. Um, it's not gonna be something that you can find all the time. If you're dealing with nature, uh, who knows? Maybe there'll be years when they can plant multiple years. Maybe it'll be three or four years where the Amazon basin area where this tobacco is grown is underwater and you know you just can't produce it. I would expect that somewhere they're keeping some of this leaf on the side to do something much more aged. I think we'll see something like that in a couple of years down the road. I mean I would if I were them uh, and see how a, a longer aged version of this will hold up over time. I'm sure they've experimented with the fillers to get this right blend. I don't know what more of the Braganca will do to a cigar. I'm sure they've tried that, but I know it would mean they couldn't produce as much if they use more Braganca filler in there. Turning a little sweeter, <laughs> sweeter now. They're getting some citrusy notes. Great cigar. So, Amazon Basin by CAO. So, for more on this cigar, read my blog at www.thelancerlife.com. It's in the comment section. Uh, and you'll see what I got from the first cigar I smoke. I really go in depth of the description all the way through and through. This cigar is one of my top five. It's the best medium body cigar I've ever smoked. Um, so, it's definitely moved up in my, uh, among my favorites. I've had a number of cigars that are, are, are causing me to uh, readjust my top five cigars. This is one that has a spot because of, you know, just because of how good it tastes. And uh, for those folks who like a medium cigar, this is a cigar that I could hand to anybody and they could probably enjoy it. And you can have fun sitting down and, and going through the different flavors and notes and stuff like that that you get from it. Enjoy the cigar. Oh, and by the way, smoke it through the band. You get up there, let that just light that up, and you get another punch of the tobaccos that are on the band. That is tobacco. I'll give you a real close up. That is tobacco. Tightly rolled tobacco leaf uh, that formulates the band. Some take it off. I decide to smoke all the way through because somebody I respect smokes all the way through, and wow, it's another, it's another note. This cigar is like our orchestra in terms of all the different flavors and things like that you get. You just, you're gonna find notes all the way up uh, past the band. So, and, and, and this is what I would term the crescendo. CAO, Amazon Basin, enjoy, peace out.